When grouping objects together, it's important to understand the concept of stacking order. If we were to take these individual pieces that make up this icon here and kind of separate them one from another, you can see that they're all just individual objects by themselves. And that the different objects, when placed on top of each other, obscure the stuff underneath. So this background plate is a gradient of purple and pink. But when the pages are placed on top of it, they hide the area underneath, making it look like a background. Each individual element has an order as these items are stacked together so that the picture here is on top of the paper object, which is on top of the background. As you draw new objects, they typically are placed on top of the existing objects. This is also reflected in the layer panel here. As we can see, the background here is at the bottom, and next comes a group with the papers and the images, and the very top, is this picture of the house. As we've created a new object here, it appears even higher than the other groups. But if we want to move this back behind some of the other objects, we can change the stacking order using the commands in the object menu here. Object arrange, bring to front, will bring the current selected object to the top of the stack. For example, if we select the background object and we use the arrange bring to front, then the background object climbs to the top of the st stacking order and is thereby obscures everything that it is positioned over the top of. We can also use the send to back to move it to the back of the stack order. Other objects in here will let you move objects forward and backwards in the stacking order. Be aware that you might need to use a command to move something in the stack several times before it actually moves behind the other objects in the scene. For example, if I use this arrange send backward command enough on the house picture that I have selected, eventually it will be moved back so it is behind the paper. I can then pull it forward once again using the bring to forward command. Stacking is only applied within a given layer and within the layer panel groups can be placed on top of groups. For example, we can see in the layers panel that the box icon is positioned below this paper icon. So if we were to select the paper icon and move it, it would obscure the box icon as we expect. We'll talk more about layer panel later. But remember that when working with stacking order, newer objects are always placed on top of existing objects. And you can always move objects using the object arrange menu options.